Hey, uh, welcome to the podcast of a thousand and four holds. Uh, to my right would be, um, yeah, Tommy, I'm going counterclockwise, which you're in the middle, so you're oh, not last. All right. You're not last. All right, so uh, I have uh, Nick Grohl, as always, to our so, right. Huh? I said, hey. Oh, I thought I mispronounced your name for a second. Good. I was like, Grohl. Most people do, so it's all right. What do most people say? Growl. Growl, Griswold, Gruel. If you're a wrestler, your name would be Growl something. Uh, next to him would be uh, Tommy. Uh, he's on our Take 5 podcast a lot. And then, um, I'm not saying this is the first time an attractive female has ever been on an amateur wrestling podcast, but we do have one here, uh, Allie Dale. Hi. Speak Hi. up. Yeah. <laughs> Damn. Okay. Is this your first rodeo? You sound kidnapped. <laughs> <laughs> like, like you're on a wrestling podcast, and we just said there's an attractive female, and she's like, help. Um, so, uh, first of all, I figured we would talk... Uh, do the quick raw recap, raw okay. from last night. Got I think it. Nick and I are the only two that watched it. I uh, saw, I saw bits of it. Like you catch the we, highlights, or yeah. I, well, I mean, I like when we were when you were watching. Oh, okay. it, I watched cool, like, cool. a little bit. You gotcha. just walked by and stared at it. Well, yeah, kind. Of, well, I that's kind of how the, you watch raw these days. You just kind of <laughs> have it yeah. on and yeah. kind of look at it. Go, oh, this looks fun. Yeah, it's like oh, oh, there's that <laughs> something's one guy. going on. It's it's three hours, so you, you definitely don't commit to it all. Um, Allie definitely didn't watch it because, like we said, she's a girl. Um, and has a lot. <laughs> well, then. <laughs> um, so, uh... Who are we kidding? Allie doesn't have a lot. I know. But. Literally, all I did last night was play Sims. That's you, you are here. Um, so it's it's hard to <laughs> make it... showed up, and that's half the battle. <laughs> yeah. The other half is knowing about wrestling. So, uh, just, just some, some points from, uh, Raw. I was telling Nick the other day, I think the main event has, <clears> like, gotten just really confusing and kind of sucks. I don't even think they know where it's going week to week. Um... Cause well, it's because right they're trying to figure it out. Because last week they're like, "Okay, we're just gonna make him Roman Reigns wrestle Daniel Bryan, so then he'll look good for WrestleMania." And now it's like, "Well, maybe we should make Daniel Bryan in the WrestleMania main event." Yeah, because like pe- the you know the sheeple that watch this are still so attached to Daniel Bryan. The Yes Movement is still very much alive. They don't want to like. I mean, they don't want to see him get his ass kicked. <laughs> this, by... They had a poll on WWE.com, which you can never really know how. Yeah, who knows if those are real. But <laughs> but it, it asked who deserves to be in the WrestleMania main event, and it was like 80-something Daniel Bryan and 17% oh, uh, yeah. Roman Reigns. And 3% so. Kane. 3%. Oh, <laughs> yes. Oh, but and that, that's my thing. It's like the Royal Rumble backfired, but it looked like WWE is going to stick to their guns mm-hmm. and back reins right. and try and build them up. Yes. Put them in a match with uh, Which is Brian. Respectable. Yeah, that's it's fine. You know, we, they they weren't going to cave like last year, but then they caved. And Here a week later, totally, Vince McMahon's totally caving. Yeah, totally saying, let's put Daniel Bryan in. The, ah, yeah, screw it, just put put him in there. I don't care. It it upsets me because I thought we were going to finally have a WrestleMania that wouldn't have a repeat match. Right. For the, but na- I mean, it's not necessarily a repeat, but we're because gonna... it wasn't. I mean, as as much of a backlash as there was as Roman Reigns winning the Royal Rumble, they were doing a good job of building him up for WrestleMania. I thought someone brought up a good point on the internet somewhere because yeah. I, I read a lot on the internet um, that last year because they were trying to defend the Royal Rumble this year with Reigns Reigns winning, and he brought up last year where it was just down to Batista and Reigns and how everyone. Was, was really wanting Reigns yeah. to win yeah. just a year ago because it was just him or Batista. No one wanted Batista to win. Right. Yeah. yeah. And yeah. then a year later, Reigns wins, and we just hate it. <laughs> now, I, in all fairness, last year Reigns was still in the Shield, and his weaknesses were kind of masked by Ambrose and right. Rollins. Yeah. But uh, what was this before or after Blue Tista? The Blue this Tista was, came later. Yeah. Okay. Later, okay. Later. I just wanted to make sure. No. 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 This was if, Blue Tista. If Blue Tista right, right. came into the Rumble, we might have loved it. Uh, I would. I totally would have loved. It. I still support Blue Tista. I still wear that shirt. We're, uh, we're we're waiting for a Blue Tista to come back. Um, and you should just go by Blue Tista. Not yes. even mention Batista. No. It should be a whole new gimmick. <laughs> Batista <laughs> is no more. Shouldn't even ride that legacy. Yeah. Um. Uh, well, I mean, the, um, the way I see it, like you know, having Daniel Bryan face Lesnar. That that kind of builds him up a lot more because he was he was stripped of his title last year mm-hmm. facing Trips, uh, and um, like why was he even like he was injured right mm-hmm. and had yeah. to yes. go into surgery so he's back now he was gone for like seven nine months. six yeah. months yeah yeah really long time so you know if they're trying to actually give him a push that they were trying to give him last year they might be trying to make good on that by having him take down the beast. Well, they so, had I mean, a, story-wise, it makes sense. Yeah, like they had the whole thing where they were fixing it last week, and 
it made sense because it was like Seth Rollins deserved a shot. Daniel Bryan deserved a rematch. He never lost his title. Technically, Randy Orton could come in Technically, and say, Randy Orton, I still have a rematch yeah, somewhere from some, last year's WrestleMania yeah, in my contract. Right. So. And so, But they did a good job being like, all right, fine. Well, you two wrestle, and then you're going to wrestle Roman, who deserves a shot because he won the Royal Rumble. It all made sense. You're like, okay, all right. And we had talked about last week how it was really – one of the weirder versions of Raw we've ever seen, just because yeah. they well, they killed kayfabe officially. They yeah. gave kayfabe a, 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 <laughs> a nice a funeral. Um, so uh, Stone Cold confirmed it. Allie's making the weird girl. What's kayfabe face? Kayfabe is the fake part of wrestling, Allison. The fake part of that wrestling. It's scripted, like the, yeah, the scripted, you know, yeah. like in character, over the top characters. And, oh, but uh, one thing that I noticed at the end of the main event last night was that. Roman Reigns was showing heel tendencies. It looks like they're going to Batista him and heel turn him, like they which, did last year. Which just means that they're in. Are they completely giving up on the Roman Reigns push, or are they just going to say we're just going to make Daniel Bryan the big good guy and make you the big bad? I uh, it's it's interesting. It just seems like they are just trying to throw another band aid on a guy that they got behind, or mm-hmm. the guy that they thought was going to get right over. And everybody's turned on him. They're going to turn him heel because they can't turn Daniel Bryan heel. Cause he's Do you think that's a, a for sure thing that they'll turn him heel? Who knows? I mean, he. D- I think that like it seems like everything I read today was kind of like Reigns heel turn question mark. Mm-hmm. Like because it's it's just the hint at it. Well, I mean, I know like Rollins has been showing face like in like some bit. of his matches. Mm-hmm. You know, he comes out like. Looking like a good guy. Yeah. So if they when he's do, not taking naked photos of himself. Well, that, <laughs> oh, we'll get we'll get that yeah, later. We'll get to that. We'll but, get that. But I mean, it it wouldn't. It would just look bad for you know two thirds of the shield to go right heel. Yeah. I mean, that just why do that? Because then you, whenever Ambrose comes back, then it's like, is he still you know is he heel? Is he face? What the hell is Ambrose? Yeah. Ambrose that. is whatever he wants to yeah. be. Which is which is Ambrose great. is Why, over. Him. Is what Ambrose is. <laughs> that, that, he, <laughs> could, he could murder everyone and still be over. He, he, he's actually filming the Marine Five. That's <laughs> <laughs> that's so that they have faith in him. Yeah. Um, that's how they know you have faith in him, unless you're the Miz. Um, but uh, so you, you, do, you have this heel turn with Reigns that that may or may not be official. I will say this: it was probably the first time since the Rumble I've been kind of behind Reigns. Yeah. He kind of works as a heel better than he does. Well, because he's he's best when he's serious and he's mean mugging and he's not talking and he's not making Looney Tunes references. Yeah, he's just, he's just quiet. So um, you can believe that <laughs> and yeah. saying terrible catchphrases. I think you go a lot of ways. I think obviously they're saying hey, it's going to be a triple threat at Mania again with you know D Bride. Um, Reigns and, and Lesnar. Mm-hmm. I think a problem they've also run into is Lesnar's been booked. As a Dare super, I say too strong? Yeah, like possibly. It's hard to make a guy that's like my height, Daniel mm-hmm. Bryan, like look like he can beat up Brock Lesnar. Even realistically, that just seems like pretty difficult when yeah. he's when he's probably booked the strongest anyone's ever been booked. Which is why in wrestling. Which is why they probably were hoping to have Roman Reigns the full year so they could build him up also as a. Yeah. Or not, but you know he got injured and he came back and they're trying to fast track him. Yeah, through <laughs> fast <laughs> lane. Uh, oh. you, oh. Damn, oh, Nick, I stole it. That. I stole it from Tommy. Uh. But um, yeah, I think that that it's probably helps it make it more logical in the fans' mind if you have two threats because like we saw last month on the Royal Rumble pay per view when they had the triple threat match with Rollins and Cena. It you know they were both able to do a multiple finishers on him and at least kind of daze him you know so yeah definitely um, yeah so we all we're all in agreement that the main event is just completely not sure where it's at right now it looks like they're booking it week to week trying to gauge uh, that's dare I say WWE actually trying to gauge fan interest <laughs> <laughs> they only do this around this time of the year though so. say it isn't so Corey uh, that's why uh, that's and why Vince I think... McMahon's heart grew two sizes. That <laughs> I, th- I think uh, I think they should just WrestleMania 2000 this. That's, you know, just have Put every everyone. everyone. Yeah. Oh, someone said that last week. Like maybe it should just become a Money in the Bank match. Just yeah. have six guys that all say that they deserve the belt. Yeah. Throw in there, there already and throw is. In like, I know there's. I can think of five. So yeah. I, 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 there's different options. They may just be having uh, Daniel Bryan thrown in there to take the pinfall. Mm-hmm. And then that gets a lot of heel heat on Reigns if he if Reigns is going heel because even even Lesner, and then Lesnar doesn't even have to take the fall yeah um, that could be a way to defeat the Beast without actually having to make it look 
like someone did. Well, it could be two out of three falls. Mm-hmm. Or it could be that. It could be elimination style, yeah. um, last man standing type thing. Um, and it could be that Lesnar works best right now in a triple threat, as we saw oh, at yeah. Royal I mean, Rumble. It, it was able to work around. If kind he's of not his, beating the crap out of John Cena, he needs to be in a triple threat. He, he does seem to get winded a little bit quick. So <laughs> he does. He, he, we thought he was going to die. Uh, every time he's Night in a of match, Champions. I think he's going to He have turns, like, attack. beat red. And, yeah, and it looks, it looks he's about to kill way over. dangerous. But yeah. uh, He's, like, pouring sweat. It's just... Ugh. It's not good. And an interesting I thing I read... Today was actually, since everybody's thinking Lesnar's going back to MMA after Mania, mm-hmm. that they're getting the belt off him, it'll go to Reigns that Paul Heyman could actually turn on Lesnar somehow, right. cost him the match, and Lesnar could be put with Reigns, considering... You mean Heyman could be put with Reigns? Yeah, Reigns. Yeah, okay. Because Reigns, is Reigns can't talk, yeah. and right. he needs a manager. And they could... Because, you know, he... Reigns shares a lot of similarities with The Undertaker. Yeah. He could be the silent type that's very intimidating and just ha- let Paul Heyman be Paul Bearer. Yeah, that's true. And so. No, that, that sounds good to me. I so, mean. main event, confusing. Um, speaking of Undertaker, they're, they're continuing the Bray Wyatt mm-hmm. stuff. I mean, still but just one like more, one more note. One more note on Reigns, just before you jump into the Undertaker stuff. Um, the thing that we they've even joked about is... It's like a terrible thing to be a babyface. Yeah. In this day and age, so like I mean, we've seen Rollins get respect just by being a heel. So yeah. maybe by turning him heel, Reigns gets more support that way. Because even even Brock Lesnar of all people is now sh- like he's not babyface, but he's right in that middle ground. Yeah. And people like when we went to Raw, he was cheered. Everybody was like, yes, more of that. Yeah. Were they really cheering him, or were they cheering Paul Heyman? They were cheering both, yeah. Well, we were in Dallas um, when Sting showed up at Raw for the first time in history. Oh, wow, please Here, tell me listen about that. Listen to the, the sound of time. this high five. Yeah. That's good. But that was kind of the night listener. They almost started doing a face turn because he attacked the authority, mm-hmm. which yeah. were the, the big heels. Um but like I said, they're continuing the going on. Continue yes. the Bright Undertaker build up. Nothing really to say there other than Bright or Watt still being booked pretty strong. Hate that they're feeding Ziggler to him. Ziggler, they keep bouncing him around. Like on SmackDown, him and Ryback were a tag team, and then this week he's cannon fodder for Bray Wyatt to just yeah. obliterate. Ziggler's just riding the WWE slide. He climbs to the freaking top and slides right back down. Oh, and, oh. Then, and then just does the ride oh, all you're getting, over again. Like, you're getting like Cody Rhodes. Yeah, yeah. this is what happens. Yeah, you're getting. You're, oh, you're getting heat as a as a baby face. Oh, well, let's just let's just fire you for two weeks and then bring you back. Yeah, exactly. And it, 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 it's it's stupid. Ziggler by far should be so over, but he's right now being and he and he's forced to come out to Ryback's music for some reason. <laughs> Apparently. I mean, Ziggler's like the one that yeah. got the huge Survivor Series win. Ryback went out halfway through that match, but for some reason, Ryback's the leader of this motley crew of. I think they're trading, the, taking turns playing their theme song. But okay. Eric Rowan's getting no, 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 no. no. Eric no. Rowan's probably going to be on the blacklist next year oh. of like fired. Um, so uh, yeah, that happens. Ziggler is still kind of directionless. Um, do you? Th- are you? Do you think Bray Wyatt's doing a good job of? Promoting his, I think uh, they're doing great. I yeah. think I think it's he's doing his weird cryptic things. He's getting over as like the new supernatural WWE mm-hmm. guy. Um, Do you think? Because there's some things that I've noticed on the internet. People talking is maybe he's misleading us. Well, he, I mean, that would make sense. That would play into his manipulative. I would love it. I would love it because that would be a cool story. Go back and watch his promos and put Sting in that spot. Put. Several you could put a, a put couple John of John Cena back in there and or, finally yeah. let let him know. beat him. But I think you'd have to put someone like Sting because he keeps talking about like how almost, he's feared and now yeah, he's loved and yeah, all this stuff. So that would be a cool swerve. I'd rather see Sting fight because the confrontation like wide over Triple H. The confrontation we're getting between Triple H and Sting at uh, Fastlane could be a swerve. That could be the thing where he's. Triple H is always getting other people to do his dirty work. I would love that at this point. And Bray Wyatt shows up. Triple H's track record of like facing WCW superstars, for some reason Triple H got all the high-profile matches with the old Nitro guys, mm-hmm. and they all sucked. They, they all sucked. Bad. Buried, he buried uh, Booker T, buried Scott Steiner, buried Goldberg. Yeah. Did, I did mean, he face just, DDP? 
DDP. No, Undertaker, for some reason, decided he wanted to destroy that crap. Um, crap. Like, you take that back, Corey Williams. No, no, DDP. I'm a huge DDP guy, but that was the one mistake Undertaker ever did. Is like any interview you ever watch where Undertaker talks about the invasion angle, he just. He's a total douche about it. It's like, oh, those dudes deserved it and crap. I was like, no, y'all just lost tons of money by burying a bunch of If anybody of should have been dudes. promoted, uh, other than Booker T, of, of the people that came over immediately, it should have been DDP. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I would have loved it if, you know, like, as much as I loved the streak, if DDP had faced Taker at WrestleMania, imagine what that match would have been like. Been been great. They did have a great feud between Undertaker, the two. Undertaker, DDP's a solid wrestler, and he started way old. and, and But, like, Means say Undertaker's wife got a pinfall on DDP during the invasion angle, so they yeah. they, they buried DDP bad. Yeah, um, jerks. And and he was a homegrown WCW guy, so they definitely hated him. Yeah, you know he wasn't ever part of WWF or anything like that. Mm-hmm. So, um, and then uh, speaking of Ziggler being kind of directionless mm-hmm. before um, WrestleMania, yeah. which I hate. Exactly. I don't like, and, that, and I'm all. Well, that's the other reason yeah. I'm mad. Brian's going in triple threat because that was supposed to be the match between him and. He Ziggler. agreed on social media. Yeah. Hey, let's do this. Let's do this. And now Ziggler's got nothing. Um, probably maybe, gonna maybe be in some throwaway tag match with Ryback. Ziggler needs to just start a, a movement of his own. The the Zig movement. I think Ziggler needs to go heel, and he needs to be a shoot heel, and he needs to complain how much he's not getting a shot. Mm-hmm. Um, but uh, Rollins. Seth Rollins is waiting for Randy Orton to show up. Kind of, he's he's directionless right now, and we're getting kind of like down to the wire. We've got to start building some some feud. They keep, they keep referencing Randy Orton, but we never get which means he's coming back. Like yeah. now, no one can shut up about Randy Orton. Right. They're you like, know, any minute now, he would have been okay. a cool surprise. But now Triple H can't say Ruined a sentence it. without yeah. saying Randy Orton. Now, surprise on you, Blue T stays. It's oh, that'd be um, oh. no. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. He needs some time away. Okay, Ambrose contu- continued his feud with Wade. Well, he continued his feud with Curtis Axel. The That's Axel also Mania a feud movement. with Wade Barrett. What? What? I, I didn't get Axel Mania. Yeah, Axel has been coming out and saying he's never been rela- like he's he wasn't, he's never well, been eliminated. Yeah, I saw that part where yeah, and Ambrose just like tosses and him out of the he's ring. He's trying to get into Axel. They keep Mania. wrestling, so there's there ha- he's having the feud with Ambrose for. Uh, Bad News Bear. Because Bad News Bear refuses to wrestle Dean Ambrose because he's quote-unquote crazy. Despite the fact that Ambrose got a win and a non-title match over him when he was in Dallas. By that logic, though, Sin Cara gets a title that's match. That's right, yes. So, Sin I'm just Cara saying, has a winning streak, I'm just saying. I'm, yeah, I'm, 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 I'm saying Sin Cara's going on like a good three-week winning streak right now, and someone should get behind this, and Sin Cara should get his next push. Sin, Sin Cara for, for WrestleMania, that's what's going on. <laughs> oh my gosh, I would... See, now there needs to be a Sin Cara, Dean Ambrose, Wade Barrett match oh, for the God. internet. There needs to be a triple threat. Uh, no, I'm telling you, the reason they're killing uh, Ziggler's push is because Sin Cara's going to take off the mask and it's actually Ziggler. Oh my god! He just like puts on a fake. And that's what he had to do to get over. <laughs> that's <laughs> or, or who knows? Maybe it's uh, maybe it's Cody Rhodes all over again. Oh, he, his new gimmick. Oh yes, post the next Stardust. Uh, post Stardust. And he, he, would, he's he, he already is preparing his next gig. He, before and his he last would get one. that over. <laughs> um, because he's Cody Rhodes and he can do everything. We saw more in the Cody Rhodes just while we we're there. Mm-hmm. He's more now. He just walked out of a match. They're definitely going for the whole. Cody Rhodes has lost his mind in the Stardust character, and even even Goldust like broke Goldust character and was like, "I'm Dustin, you're Cody. Yeah, stop, stop this." And yeah, I can't remember the last time I ever saw Goldust, you know, Goldust break character. No. Well, he did because he's trying to go out. I supposedly he's retiring at Mania and probably going to have do the job to Cody, which would be cool. If somehow Cody lost and stripped the Stardust gimmick after this, but I doubt it because they can sell Stardust masks. That's true. So let's my, keep that going. My only worry about that is I don't see I, I don't know how they're going to keep feeding this to WrestleMania. Yeah, because I mean the way things escalated like last Raw because that's one of the parts I did get to watch. That just seems like they are well fast tracking. Th- it's it's well I, I kind of disagree. I think that they're slow burning it because right now it's Cody that's doing all the attacking. Yeah. You know, uh, Goldust is not. Uh, doing any of the, he's not pushing back or anything. He's still in the mode of I'm trying to get through to him. I'm trying to figure it out. Brother. Yeah. And so what could happen is they're continuing their matches, and then they could have some match at Fast Lane where finally, you know, the fuse re- reaches its end, and Goldust finally attacks Cody Rhodes back. So 
Yeah. I think that's kind of where they're aiming for, and then they can build up the feud all the way to Mania for a month. And so. so we have more cracks in the road, brothers. We have more cracks in the... Well, now they just actually seem to be furthering the Miz Dow Miz thing. For some reason, that just, that's, that's just over with people. It's just brilliant. And now they have the Miz sitting in a director's most, chair yeah. giving orders. And, and, and that actually Did was you, kind of brilliant. I didn't see that. So they, now, instead of Miz Dow being a stunt double, now he's his personal assistant. And Miz Dow, in his first match on his own in like, what, six months or something? Yeah, probably something like that. And Miz just sits on the sideline and has the microphone and is, like, giving him orders. He, and he, he gets knocked out of the ring before he gets in. He's like, hey, Miz Dow, go get, me, go get me a water real quick. As the referee is counting, so he has to run over, grab him a drink, and give it to him and stuff. And the, Miz is doing excellent work as a heel. Yeah, Miz is actually coming into a really good heel character. Like, I mean, he's doing well. Like, the audience hated him. Well, they that, were, that's his that's Yeah, his no, thing. but, like, he's... He's over as a heel because, yeah. like, they were in, they were in Ohio and he's from Cleveland, and they were in Columbia and all or the Columbus. fans Columbus Columbus me, and they were chanting, uh, "You're from Cleveland," and he responds just simply by saying, "It's better than Columbus," <laughs> and like they just lost it and they were just oh, yeah, so it, mad. It, it was it was it was good. It's it was some good. of the Miz's best work I've seen in, of since him. the Marine Two. <laughs> since since <laughs> yeah yeah something like that maybe um. Well, I think the Marine Two is actually Ted DiBiase. Okay. Junior. Yes. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Yeah. yeah we is. miss him. Come yeah. back, Ted. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, Ted, we miss you. Um, Got to get legacy started back up. I think again. it's interesting because you know it was when he was when Ms. Dow was playing the double or the stuntman. It was really reaching this point. They they had kind of ran its course, and before they let it just get destroyed, like. A lot of other storylines that they have, they yeah. actually said, "Well, let's just shift it." And WWE this. has commitment issues. Yeah, they get real scared. It's just, just dumb it, I think, real fast. What if it's just one of those situations where they're trying to kill it, but it just, it just keeps getting work. over, and Ms. Dow just won't die? And so I would be all for it. Yeah. Um. <laughs> so yeah, we have more tag team dissension. Uh, oh, uh, yeah. W- one one more thing, like. Um, did we ever find out what the cosmic key was? The the belts. I think the belts. The belts were the cosmic. key. It was just key. the whole gold thing. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. Yes. Well, and they well, they had them for a while. Yeah, yeah, um, I know. I, and yeah, that was. A but good the time. Usos needed them back. Of course. Um. So. Uh, so they could sell more toys. So. Yeah. Speaking of which, we have the Usos. They faced the, uh, the Usos. upper cats, as I like to call the, them. The upper cats. The upper cats. The upper cats. <laughs> Tyson Kid. Uh, uh, Cesaro tag team. They got mm-hmm. another win. They look good. good. Yeah. Everyone's hoping they're getting. Natalia's looking good. If you know what I mean. Yeah. 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 Okay. okay. Everybody's hoping they get a title shot. However, of course, Total Divas has factored into this storyline, mm, so yes. people kind of hate it. Uh, but yeah. they're a little excited that this tag team that it's people like off, might yeah. actually get a thing. We <laughs> saw no Ascension. Maybe Ascension's finally like just been fired we, or these something. These tag teams are all doing really well, except there for was no Ascension. New day. Was this. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's, show. it's. I love it because we have Black History Month, and WWE likes to do Black History Month and honor uh, black wrestlers, you know, from the past. Last night no, they honored uh, was Junkyard Ascension Dog. Was there. Where, Ascension I, wasn't there. They beat somebody, didn't they? They beat. They showed a clip of them beating Stardust and oh, okay. Goldust last Got week, it. but okay. yeah. they, they didn't gotcha. actually wrestle. Okay. Because um, hopefully they just said, "Hey, can we go back to NXT?" Um, cause please, please, please let us go back. Please let us go back. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but uh, uh, the, uh, the, the the they do Black History Month, and uh, and that, that's always cool. You know, they'll do segments on Ron Sigmunds and Junkyard Dog and things like that. Mm-hmm. And out comes New and Day. out comes New Day to the most New like Day! stereotypically racist. racist like thing going on in the WWE. <laughs> like they're just all doing the black preacher thing and just being super. But positive. it's okay, guys, because Rikishi is getting into the Hall of Fame. So. Yeah, so yeah, it's, yeah, well, yeah, it's and and the, and that's again that was just to kind of plug the Usos because they're in the ring when that even though they happens. lost Usos. and then they announced it and then the Usos were sitting there going like yeah oh, everything's we better now the belts, our though. dad's in yeah anyway so the, the New Day still needs to somehow die or like New Day. go heal or something please go heal please I, go I loved I, I really did love that they got no reception from the crowd at all <sighs> they're, like, they're I felt bad for them. But I loved it. Yeah. Maybe 
Uh, maybe since, like, uh, you know, obviously they had a heel thing going for a while, or it was originally supposed to be a heel stable. And then all the stuff happened. Then some, the, you know, the Ferguson shootings mm-hmm. happened, a lot of race uh, riot issues started happening across the country, so they ditched it, gave right. them blue tights, and said, you guys are going to be baby faces, like, times ten. <laughs> you guys are just going to be the worst. <laughs> <laughs> um, Until this boils over, you guys are baby faces, yeah. damn it. And, Every- like, and I mean, play it up. <laughs> like, and, uh... And look, we we were watching it, and they, what, whatever they say is like, what they're like, I ain't gonna let it, and it's like, I don't do it for the day or something. It's like, what does that even mean? Yeah, it's, yeah, it's it's just it's just bad. But I, yesterday, do it for the day. I ain't gonna do it. What? what? I, what? <laughs> but yesterday, Ice Cube and Dr. Dre released their trailer for NWA, the movie, yes. and it looks like the most disrespectful thing to the cops ever. Like, it looks like they're not even going to be source sensitive no. to any of this crap going not on. They're just going to say, uh uh-uh, uh, cops suck. Because that's what NWA does. Hopefully, that movie's successful, so then Vince McMahon. And yeah, then Vince McMahon's going to capitalize and turn New Day heel. I, 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 I'm just waiting for Ron Simmons to show up and just, like, look at the. Tell him to get it together. What the hell are you. Like, <laughs> damn! What are you doing? I hope it happens. I hope that's how we end Black History Month. He's like, damn! Like, I hope that's how it happens. Um, and then, lastly, uh, the big thing from Raw last night would be um, the. The, they, they furthered the Triple H sting uh, um, yes. confrontation. Yes. Uh, Nick seems to be more for it than I was. I thought it was crap. Well, everything except for the fake sting, which wasn't fake sting, if you know what I mean. Yeah. Okay. This is where Allie comes in. Allie, you're a huge sting fan. I is love this sting. Is this your favorite wrestler of all time? Yeah, mostly. I, I love Sting. He's all I watched growing up because I was allowed to watch WCW with my brothers. No, you're like 17 or something, so... Basically, yeah. Somewhere uh, around there. Um, Allie so, was actually like 60. <laughs> <laughs> so you're probably more prone to like the Crow Sting, the Nitro Era Sting. Yeah. More than you are like Blonde Surfer Guy Sting. Basically, yeah. Found out he's born in Nebraska, so that's everything he's done is what? just crap. What? Um, he, really? He should have been a farmer. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Farmer Sting. Well, then he was in California being a yeah. bodybuilder. And WWE he... creative, get on that. Farmer <laughs> Sting. Yeah, comes out and he's just got a pitch for it. Um, and a straw hat. He throws it into Triple H's chest, kills him on screen. <laughs> First death in WWE since, since well, Rest in peace. Yeah, Owen Hart. Yeah, wow. <laughs> Jeez, <laughs> Tommy. Well, that's depressing. Yeah, you just, okay, Tommy's brought down the entire podcast, so <laughs> we think you should leave. Oh, I'm sorry. Um, but uh, I yeah. think I think everything that they did with all the him being in the audience and stuff was really well done. That was cool because yeah. that, that kind of referenced back to Nitro and Sting was kind of mm-hmm. up in the rafters mm-hmm. and they do like weird mind game tricks thing. He That's was, awesome. Yeah, they, oh, that makes me so happy. Exactly. Yes, they were, we'll have to they, YouTube it later. They're having you know Triple H in the audience and then you'd hear the crow like mm-hmm. squawk or whatever they do, whatever that is, and then it, like a spotlight would hit somewhere in the audience. Adele's s- fist bumping to herself. This is beautiful. So Continue. you need to get back into I need wrestling. I get back into wrestling. Um. So uh, the whole time I was just waiting for a bat to drop from the ceiling. Oh gosh. gosh, that's how it should have started. He's saving the bat. They're ho- hopefully they're saving the bat for like fast. Lane. When he brings out a sledgehammer, mm-hmm. yeah, that's that's what we're hoping. We're hoping the sledgehammer bat confrontation uh, happens. Uh, what about to. a kendo stick? We need to work a kendo stick. That's Dean Ambrose's That's Dean Ambrose. <laughs> CM Punk has handed that down to <laughs> Dean Ambrose. Um, he ascended from the heavens and handed and it to said, him. And then, like, I am moving on to UFC, <laughs> but here is a kendo stick. Uh, <laughs> so, yeah, and then they, another squat stings now on the other side of the audience. And it works. Fake doubles work when you're that far away. But then it ends and there's like a fake in the ring. Blacks out and then Sting pops up behind Triple H. But it was so bad. Oh. The, he had like a slip back ponytail wig. wig. You could buy it. Halloween. It looked like Steven Seagal with Steve, like Steve it, makeup. It, it might have been Steven Seagal. His yeah, granted, it was only like a flash. <laughs> and it, it was a flash, but it was long enough for people to kind of go, gross. <laughs> like, <laughs> but we live in the era of like super high depth television. I think it's yeah. okay if they just do it once. Because yeah. there is the history of fake stings yeah. and stuff, so yeah. it's not like that makes sense. Arr, arr, that's that's not James. Turn, turns out that that was actually like the uh, the N, uh, NWO. Yeah, if they do an angle where the guy in the rings actually fake sting right. from NWO, right. 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 Yeah. then we have a we have we have a story there. Exactly, and I'm all for it, but I don't think that's going to happen. Some people have I've actually read some people think it's Seth Rollins was actually the fake sting. Like, <laughs> might work. <laughs> Might have been punishment for his actions. <laughs> <laughs> Put this makeup on and this jacket on. And you're going out there and you're being shave your, shave your beard and then grow it back. 
<laughs> but either way, um, so that that was fun. Um, I hated it. It sucked <laughs> as far as I was. I just I thought it just made it too goofy. If they had just stuck with the body doubles and the and audience, the I'd be more for sign. it. Yeah. And then uh, then they did the I accept sign, which even even that, I'm just like. So what am I supposed to think? Like stings in the video truck? Yeah, <laughs> right. I made this. <laughs> I'm, I'm, but again, they're essentially like making him Batman. Th- is what they're that doing. And, they're, and, and you have to suspend disbelief. It's Batman? wrestling, and you have the Undertaker who does weird stuff all the time. I think yes. he appeared yeah, on that, screen Batman. from inside a coffin once. Yeah, so that took Allie like a minute to get. <laughs> Shut up. Anyway, bad. <laughs> and now Corey gets it. Well, I wasn't listening. I was trying to run the podcast. And then it happened. Um, <laughs> Welcome to my world. So, uh, but th- that's pretty much Raw. Raw was Raw's in the weird, like the weirdest road to WrestleMania I think I've seen yeah. in a long time. Yeah, I think they're freaked out from they last year where they had where they were able to fix something, and now this year they just question <laughs> themselves. They're like, is this the right thing? Like so, who knows? We might have like Stone Cold versus The Rock at this Stop point. Headlining, is the oh champion. my god! Like headlining WrestleMania. Sin, Sin Cara is going to demask, and it's Stone Cold. Oh my gosh! <laughs> Just start stunning everything. Oh, that'd be good. I'd, I'd be all for it. But Stone Cold actually like fakes being like a foot shorter. <laughs> so, but anyway, so uh, yeah, Raw uh, was weird. But while Raw was going on, WD. WWE has found itself in the midst of a scandal. Yes. Yes. Apparently, while <laughs> Seth Rollins is not wrestling, he's sending nude photographs to a woman who is not his fiance. We, well, we don't know. He, he sent her photos. Well, either okay, Here's the story. Here's what I've gathered, and here's what speculation is. Uh, Seth Rollins' fiance is a girl named Lee, Leah, Leela? Yeah, something like so, that. Something like, something like that. Um, and someone... Posted on Seth Rollins' Instagram a picture of I think an NXT developmental wrestler, uh, yes. Zahara, yeah, butt naked. Um, yes, her yep. butt was on display on Instagram. You got, you got, you got some solid side nipple. And there was some, there was you some. Did. They broke Instagram's morality uh, protocols, um, but it was taken down immediately. Um, obviously, people don't think Seth Rollins would do that, so they right. think his fiance who had access probably to his Instagram put that picture up. Maybe, and it was brought down. I know that they do live feed of social media on WWE.com, so that picture did appear on WWE.com, and that's where Sweet. that's where um, some people are upset. The um, internet. Someone was probably trying to buy their John Cena t-shirt, like little Timmy, and then all of a sudden there was <laughs> butt and side I boob. I that t-shirt, um, Yeah, butt and side boob right there. Um, so mom might have been oh mad. My. Um but then next, uh, his wife, I guess, on her fiance, own Twitter, yeah. fiance on her own Twitter, put nude pictures of him up. So this yes. seems to be the act of a woman scorned. Um, and happens. they're totally going to storyline this. Allie, as a woman, have you ever done this? I have not personally, no. Would you be willing to do this? Yes. What would require... You are I mean, No, I would never do that. What would kidding? said man have to do to warrant... I would, have naked I would photos never of another do that woman. personally, but that's just because, I don't know, I feel that I'm, I know everybody here doesn't think I'm classy, but I feel that I'm a lot classier than that. Okay. I would never post nude pictures of fiancés on okay. See, social we, media. Allie Dale is a classy woman. <laughs> Occasionally. Uh, mostly. <laughs> uh, I've received some Snapchats that might say otherwise. At least I'm always clothed. <laughs> okay. All right. Fair enough. Um, okay. <laughs> Well, I, Unlike we, Tanner, we don't have um, most of the story to this, though. I mean, it's true; it's still like, going. Like, uh, who knows? Like, he could have received that picture from her, mm-hmm. n- and he hadn't warrant, he hadn't asked for it, or anything yeah. like that. Like, maybe but he it was just didn't in, delete it. That's, that's entirely possible. I mean, it yeah. could have been like she sent it to him in a text message, and maybe he didn't have time to look at his phone. His or, wife got it first. Yeah, like that might have happened. Well, possibly, but then it would say new message, and it, I mean, I, I mean, obviously the message was opened, wasn't it? Wait, was it through text messaging, or was it just, this was it stored it on up on social phone? media yeah. by his fiance. By his, okay, so his fiance found it on his phone. Okay, maybe. maybe. Possibly. We're not sure. Okay. Somehow she has a nude picture of him, and they're saying, thinking she threw the other nude picture up, so a lot of people are putting together, maybe she found a nude picture of this other oh, girl okay. on his phone. Threw that up on the internet, and then threw him up, up on the internet because she was upset. I mean, why not? 
<laughs> See? Um, so Allie's reconsidering her stance no, on this, I, maybe. No, I still wouldn't um, do it. So, uh, That's a little far. Nick, thoughts? Thoughts about the photo itself, or... Which photo? Well, <laughs> because I know Allie, like, really inspected one of them. Yes, so. Allie, Allie <laughs> looked at the photos earlier. Um, I'd explain a few things. Yeah. <laughs> I'd have an anatomy lesson with Allie Dale. Um, so, um, but I guess the big question is, will he be punished? I doubt it. Would, I think... Because there's a morality clause. Since they're in the TVPG area and they're a publicly traded company, hmm. I they're think, not supposed to do this Well, stuff. I think the fact that he himself didn't do it, mm -hmm. and it wasn't... It was a private thing, obviously. I mean, look at, like, the fappening that happened uh, several months ago. Jennifer Lawrence has not skipped a beat, and that's because she's over in the movie world. Yeah. In the wrestling world... Seth Rollins is over, and he's really the only consistent one that's over. Daniel Bryan is over, but they don't want to put him over. Roman Reigns, they're trying to push over, and people don't really want him over 100%. So he's really the only one that's consistent right now that with their plans, and so I don't think... Other than Ambrose. Other than Ambrose, but they even still Ambrose, they're just kind of like, well, he's not ready yet. And well, so I think that that is probably going to save him from being thrown out or having his money in the bank thing taken from him so okay um i i i, I think the thing we're gonna run into a problem is uh cesaro okay. who was on the cusp of a giant push last mm -hmm. year wrestlemania yeah. 30 got a huge push was broke away from his tag team was supposed to go something then in an interview said something about tired of seeing randy orton versus john cena for the hundredth time yes yeah and he was punished here's we the haven't difference. seen him since here's, here's <laughs> the difference cesaro spoke out against the company Dolph Ziggler went behind, did not ask permission for like his comedy spots and stuff when he was doing stand up. So they used that to punish him, quote mm -hmm. unquote. This is a situation where Seth Rollins didn't do this on purpose. Yeah. Now, was he? What was he doing? If he if he's been sending nude photos to this girl, yeah, it's it's kind of shitty what he did. But they but don't have proof of that yet. Since when has the WWE ever let a shitty person in their personal life exactly yeah. be an excellent yeah. wrestler? Yeah. I mean, and look at all the other scandals that are, have gone on in the WWE, like the whole Matt Hardy and Lita thing. Oh, I, by all means. Or Batista. And, with and John girl. Morrison, yeah. when he slept with John Morrison's girlfriend, John Morrison got punished. Yeah. I, I remember right, that. Right, because he yeah. did stand up to Batista. Yeah. Which he, he now wrestles on Lucha Underground. Yeah. And he's watched Lucha he's, Underground. He's incredible. Like he's <laughs> still great. Stand up still guy. Oh, uh, so uh, I I think you could get it to a point though where Cesaro Ziggler might argue he's in breach of contract because of morality. They're not supposed to have anything like that in phone, like on their but, phones. They're not supposed to have nude photos like ever because of. Well, are they all it, company phones? That's I don't know. It's just the, the, as as a performer for WWE, you have a morality clause that says I. You will not indulge in this kind of activity because of how easy it is for it to end up on. It could right. still be viewed though as an invasion of privacy. That's what I was thinking. With because we, That's for true. all we know, it, the photo of a girl that was naked could have been a hacker. Because then they can't they can't come at him for um, cheating. You yeah. can't say hey, you can't cheat because then Triple H has to get fired. Right. Yeah. Um, <laughs> you know, he was one time um, engaged to apparently China, and mm -hmm. then. Yeah, and then that macho man will need to. Oh wait. <laughs> okay. Oh. Yeah, and yeah, yeah. Okay. So, so you can't really come at him because then every wrestler has to get fired. Right. Even like Vince McMahon has to now step down because yes. he's admittedly cheated on his wife tons Multiple of times. times. Um, so you can't come out from that. It just it's just the question of uh, morality clause. Um, nude photos came out, and you can argue that's an invasion of uh, privacy, like you said, um, not necessarily his fault. And a lot of the I, I read that already, kind of the background backstage feeling towards Rollins is not going to be punished, or they don't think because they think it's out of his control, things like that. Um, however, you could look at it from the uh, the the stance that. Uh, He's he's not he's he's a new guy, but essentially he's, he's over. He's over. He's but already he's, over. He's, he's and only, he's part of their long term plan. He's the future of the WWE. <laughs> but if you, but if your but if your boss is Triple H, who one time had to take the heat for three other guys, do you have a lot of sympathy for uh, just a guy that's twenty nine years right old now, still has many many years? I and, think Triple H right now is just glad he has somebody that's. 
consistently pulling good matches. In he his has that, and it's audience. called Dolph Ziggler. That doesn't matter. <laughs> but he doesn't anything. like Dolph Ziggler. He likes he but, likes Rollins. Like, the only thing consistent in Triple H's life are his stools. I mean, that's the only thing. Okay. <laughs> um, because he's full of shit. That's why. Because he's full of shit. That, that's where I was going with that. So. Okay. okay. He kind of had to reach for that joke. The delivery was a little rough. Okay. No, no. Well, just, just work on it a little bit. No, just, no. just work on it. And uh, um, Dell over here eating all of my Reese's pieces. You shouldn't have offered that. But anyway, I don't. Yeah, I don't. I don't think that we'll see anything. No, nope, you don't. Think I think there'll be a, that may, If anything, they might dock his pay or something. I, I don't know. I just don't see. Them a fine. Yeah, I was about to say, probably a fine. I, because of a breach of contract type thing. I don't think they'll punish him for that, just because, again, he wasn't speaking out against the company like Cesaro did. They might well, just... If we've learned anything from CM Punk, about half the crap in the WWE contracts aren't, like, you, they don't hold up. Right. You're not allowed to actually punish for certain things or mm-hmm. ban people from certain things. So maybe this is just one of those things where Rollins says, you can't actually get mad at me for doing this. I mean, they might just, you know, overwork him. Like, they just might put him in a jobber position, but keep him in storyline, you know, where he's at. But, like, at house shows, just make him get, you know, his ass kicked. But do you think he should be punished, Nate? I think, no. If I'm if I'm Vince McMahon and I'm, or I'm Triple H and I'm sitting there, we're heading to WrestleMania and I need all people on deck, all, everybody okay. going at... The, the best matches we can get. And if you something, punish something him, deck joke. something, something, deck joke. But if you punish him and, and like, say, oh, we're going to take the money in the bank thing from you and put it on somebody else, you've and we're going to job you out or not let you get in WrestleMania, you've lost one of your big matches. That's true. And that's, you've lost one of your big draws. Because he w- immediately, definitely went over last month at Royal Rumble. Mm-hmm. And so much so that we're questioning if he's going to become a baby face. Yeah. Okay. So I don't. I think the thing with Triple H when he got knocked down, he was he wasn't over completely yet. Okay, that's that's good. And so he's he was probably where a little further than Cesaro was. But yeah, fair enough. But I think that since he's well, at the level he's at, and pr- since he's probably become best buds with Triple H, being with him all the time with the authority, I don't see anything that we'll see being uh, punished on screen or anything. Okay, Tommy, should he be punished? Uh, no. And unlike Nick, I'm not going to spend five minutes describing why. Oh, you say no? No. no. Okay. Nick, I appreciate it. No, no problem. I'm just trying to <laughs> add to the podcast here. Allie Dale, should he be punished? I don't think so. I think it was, you know, violation of privacy. I don't think, he, I mean, obviously, it wasn't him, so I, I don't think he should get in trouble for it personally. I think he should be so punished. <laughs> and I think that that. You just money in the bank. I think that money in the bank briefcast should be transferred to Ziggler. Who gets to get cash in? Cash is in at WrestleMania, and, and we have a four way match. Yes. If Ziggler could do it the babyface way and cash in pre match and just go in and win, not at an opportune time, come out huge babyface, and Rollins don't care what happens to him after that. He's, he's got tons of years. If I, was, if I was anywhere near Triple H, I'd be like, remember that time, the curtain call? You took all the heat, and you still got over. <laughs> He'll still get over. It's just going to take a few years. <laughs> and maybe well, I, him getting punished built Stone Cold Steve Austin. Maybe this will work. Maybe, maybe this will build Ambrose and Ziggler. Yeah, maybe Ambrose now gets a spot, <laughs> and, and and there you go. So yeah, they could just you know like like uh, I don't know who said it earlier, but just incorporate it into a storyline like they did with Lita, Lita and Edge and them. Mm-hmm. I read somewhere that they think that he should have to go on a Stone Cold podcast and answer lots of hard questions. <laughs> that's funny. So uh, because that's apparently what we do now um, with Stone Cold. Uh, cause he won't wrestle, <laughs> jerk. Um, so big bald jerk. Since we were talking about um naked divas, um, yeah. and, a, and, a, and a photo scandal, um, which again it just seems ridiculous that there's a morality clause in the WWE. Um, but okay. Uh, so uh, and I guess the big question now is. Does this mean he can't go in the Hall of Fame ever? <laughs> um, I think there's two separate issues. No, there. no, 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 no. That last week we heard from Triple H. Can China ever go in the Hall of Fame? China, and if you Google again, China, again, <laughs> again, China was in porn. She chose to be porn, 
and she chose that for that porn to be seen by millions of people. No, 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 not the first one. Her and uh, what, Sean Waltman? Well, she continued down the road. No, her and Sean Waltman did a weird thing. They like purposely released a home video. Then the second one, the sequel, they said was totally stolen. <laughs> Despite there being a cameraman. What, back door to China? <laughs> Is that the one? That's... I don't know. I, I, I've, I've, I've yet to see any sex tape Sean Waltman's ever been in, um, proudly. So <laughs> I, I might have a VHS copy you can um, So So uh, <laughs> I, 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 have, I have not seen any of the China adult films, per se. But, um, but, but Triple H's stand is, we can't put her in the Hall of Fame because if my eight-year-old daughter Googles China, porn might come up. I googled China once, nothing but her wrestling career came up. I googled Seth Rollins today, and nudity came up. <laughs> so I'm saying Seth Rollins Hall of Fame career, done. Okay. Right. I'm trying to bury Seth yeah, Rollins. This is yeah. the Bury Seth Rollins podcast, podcast okay. right now. Got it. Despite that, I'm a huge fan. You're just jelly, man. I am. Peanut butter I and jealous. Peanut butter <laughs> and jealous. <laughs> I am, because he's by far the most talented wrestler, I think, on the WWE roster. right now. Yeah. So, um, cause I think he's better than Daniel Bryan. So, well, I'm, I'm just going to get some heel heat right there. Um, okay, so let's talk about women's wrestling. Okay. What's women's wrestling, Corey? Exactly. <laughs> How do you improve the Divas Division? The Divas Division is unwatchable. You kill point. Total Divas, but that's not going to happen because that's another moneymaker for them. Money, um, money, 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 money. I think you just have to look at NXT. You got to give them more time. You got to treat them like you treat the male wrestlers, like they're actually. Well, and that's human the thing. Beings. You can go to NXT and it's women's wrestling. Yeah, they've arguably had the best matches on their last few specials. Yeah. NXT is mm-hmm. the women's mm-hmm. wrestling. Yeah, has been ridiculously good. Right, and there's no, there's no. Right now, the big, the feud over the Divas Championship is over pages like. Skin tone. They're calling her, yeah, pasty white, saying she. They're just, they're just saying. Allie she, Gale's offended. Now, I am offended now, as a pasty girls, white yeah. female. Girls are offended, Vince McMahon. And the thing about be it, a star, don't be a bully. The thing about it is, yeah. it's the dark-haired British goth girl that they're making fun of. That's probably the best wrestler on well, the, the main ro- Natalia show. Natalia is kind well. Of she doesn't have the it factor, so she's just. She's just a rest good wrestler. Um, yeah, she actually wrestles. She didn't really fit in. Um, so because uh, Paige can do both, she can wrestle yeah. really well, but she's also got that personality that just kind of wins over the crowd. I mean, Corey was begging for her to marry him. No, I was. I was yelling, "Marry me, Paige!" A lot. She didn't notice. No. Um, <laughs> she didn't notice me. We noticed her ass, though. Really? Yes. I was just trying to marry her. Yeah. <laughs> I was trying to respect her as a human being. Yeah. Nix. I was trying to. I was trying to. Pro- I, respect I was trying being. to provide for I'm her. I'm respecting her as a human being financially, and then love her. Nick was apparently just okay. ogling her. All right, Allie, as a pasty white girl with a who kind of looks like Paige. A little bit. Have we not all kind of acknowledged that they kind of look a lot? I think I Isaac mean, acknowledged it the last time we were watching it. I don't even know what she looks like. Uh, she looks kind of like you, to, like really? you, but better. <laughs> you suck. Well, her ass might not be as big as yours, but well, that's a hard now tell me, uh, who would who would you rather you know listen to? Like the guy who is shouting "Marry me, marry me, Allie," or the listen, guy who's just like I've never I would shouted also, "Marry me, Allie." I would also but, uh, that, I would also marry Paige. Weird. I'm just commenting on one of her better assets. Ooh. Oh my god! Boo. My mom made She's that joke. A <laughs> human being. I know she with is. Feelings. She, it's true. And that's what they're banking on in the wrestling feud right now is trying to make it seem like sh- that her feelings are hurt because <laughs> they put spray tan stuff on her and yeah. told her that she was white. This reeks of the whole uh, Piggy James angle of like oh eight oh nine mm-hmm. where they made fun of Piggy like or Piggy, Piggy James, James weight mm-hmm. um, and it, it, it just it's gross it's stupid and. NXT, the main concern for their women's t- is their women's title, and I love that it's called the women's title, not the divas. I yeah. move that the whole Divas butterfly belt and like term should be killed. Mm-hmm. It looks stupid. Yeah, but it's because it's just it's making them very much not wrestlers. But that's it's man's whole mantra. He doesn't want any wrestling. If he had it his way, it would be a soap opera the like, whole time. If you're if you're Charlotte Flair, who's the current NXT Women's Champion, how terrified I'm are you, total babe, of getting called up to the main roster? 
terrified. Because I, I mean, it depends. Well, she was on there one time. You, and she got she got got jobbed. jobbed out right quick because because everyone liked NXT's special better than they liked TLC. Mm-hmm. Um, so Vince McMahon made an example. Um, now, are you terrified, or is it a money thing in the end of the day? Because Charlotte Fair is going to come up to the main roster. She's probably going to get thrown on Total Divas, and her paycheck's going to increase. But she will now be a part of really stupid storylines where she'll probably be made fun of for her freakishly tall height. Yes. I'm terrified. Yeah. Because I would. it's all about money. Mm-hmm. Um, I don't know. I mean, no, it is. It's all about the money. It's all about getting them on Total That's why they put Paige on Total Divas, because. There was that redhead that was there for a long time. Oh, then we yeah. found out she couldn't wrestle at all. Yeah. And they like, still, she's they not still, even, she's still, still on Total her. Divas, but I haven't seen her on any sort of wrestling She's like the Stacey Keebler of the group, but at least Stacey Keebler kind of got in the ring from time to time. But yeah. we knew she couldn't wrestle. She didn't pose herself as a wrestler. Yeah, she was like, often the well, manager. I, I mean, we'll look back at, you know, Miss Elizabeth. Mm-hmm. She wasn't She wasn't a wrestler. Well, she was she a was, valet. We need to bring valets back. Yeah, They're trying know, to make Natalia I mean, a valet. You know, yeah, for valets, or, for Natalia's one of the only ones that can wrestle. But, you know, I, I think it's just... Natalia Dale. I think it's just <laughs> ridiculous that... Um, I think we tried to get her to go as Paige whenever we did our wrestling thing. You did. That yeah. makes sense now. That yeah. makes more sense. Now, Sorry, I didn't know. Don't you regret not being a part I of our Halloween do, group? She's actually we dressed really up as wrestlers. Yeah, for the, I was this last Halloween, I was Bret Hart. We, yeah, dressed up. Tommy was mankind. Yeah, I, don't think I was. I, did anything. I was fantastic as mankind. You yeah. were. You were in character, but you didn't live up to doing all the characters. No, that's because I couldn't find a tie dye shirt. And we also didn't have multiple parties to go to. Yeah, that's we true. only had the one. That's true. And my my gimmick was going to be to change in the car in between Ooh, parties. That's right. Well, maybe next year, but. Yeah, I think they just they just aren't treating it seriously. It's just become oh, here's the girls are going to come out and do something. It's kind of like, oh, not quite cheerleaders, but it's like cheerleaders with stories essentially. I think I, again, I think that doing getting rid of the the divas term mm-hmm. would help huge. I yes. think divas yeah. is a stupid thing for women's wrestlers. Um, and the butterfly belt is retarded. Well, nobody's um, going to take you seriously if you say, I'm a diva. It, exactly. Like, nobody's going to take you seriously. And, it's, and, it, and they're supposed to be. I mean, obviously, they, they all they are, ever argue about is like, oh, we're PG now. We're trying to placate the kids. Mm-hmm. What kind of role model does that make for a little girl, Allie? Oh, not, uh, it makes a terrible Would role Would you rather model. see, like, actual women wrestlers? Like, if you're if you're into wrestling, like, doing that, or would you like yeah. just going around, like, arguing about spray tans while carrying a butterfly belt? Well, it's stupid. It, it sets up this unrealistic expectation for young females. It, it is. It, 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 it does kind of just go into the, you don't look like the rest of It's bullying. They're, they're, they they run really their, their Be A Star bully campaigns, but then they turn around and they do bullying angles in the Divas division all the time. You know, and people don't like honestly people don't realize like how like if a a little girl is watching a diva for example and they're arguing about like oh spray tans and oh I have to look this certain way like I don't think people realize just how much that influences little girls like I cannot tell you how many times me growing up I was like oh my gosh I feel stupid because I don't look like her because everybody says I have to look like her Okay. Not to sound all feminist or anything like that, because I don't... I feel like I just watched the Like a Girl Super Bowl commercial again right there. I didn't see that Super Bowl commercial. Allie Dale, tell me, how does a girl throw? How do you, <laughs> yeah, how do you throw right. like a girl? <laughs> that one. Um, well, does, it offend <laughs> me? does it offend you if I say you run like a girl? It doesn't offend me. What if I say I, Nick runs like a girl? Uh, well, Does I mean, that make you feel like... It's truth, but... Okay, I'm see? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it is. I'm fired. How <laughs> dare you. I'm just kidding. Anyway. It doesn't offend me, but... No. Well, I mean, it's like... Uh, in Lucha Underground, like, they actually incorporate the women's wrestling into the main roster. Yeah. Like, they will have male-on-female matches. Oh, wow. And, it, <laughs> I mean, they're, they're great. I mean, because they actually do carry their own in, their, in the matches. They're talented wrestlers. Yeah. Uh, thing is, like the, the way WWE is set up, there's no way they're going to do that. I mean, Lita would like get into a ring with a man, and mm-hmm. she would, you know, throw him around and kick his ass. China would wrestle men, but now she's people... intercontinental champion. Yes, but yeah. she can't go to the Hall of Fame. Nope. No, that uh, she, <laughs> uh, but, no wait, who did she share it with? Oh, like, Chris Jericho for a while. Yeah, yeah. That, that, but she had two singles, and then the third one that was co-shared with. But yeah. in like the history books, I think that's now only credited to Jericho. Yeah, it's, it's only credited to Jericho. But um, it, it's like like now there's no way women will ever be wrestling men in the PG. No, era. no, no. Oh no. No, they they do sometimes the intergender tag matches, but if one tags in the girl, the other team automatically has to tag in. Yeah. Um, that automatically switches both teams out. Um. 
Man, I miss the good old days when Stone Cold would just stun a girl. Um, and no one whined about it. <laughs> the girl was just really excited to get stunned. Well, I, um, I think also kind of the issue... The, the kind of the issue we do have is a lot of the women, uh, the divas, aren't talented as wrestlers. No. They aren't. They're not trained well either, yeah. obviously. It's like, uh, I know Ronda Rousey, who's in women's UFC or women's MMA, I don't know which... UFC. Uh, women's UFC. She wants to come over and be a wrestler. I'd say do it. Yeah. Because that'll actually inject, like, you know, almost a beast-like character, like uh -huh. Goldberg that we could have. Yeah. Uh, and, like, Natalia, she's a gifted, talented wrestler, could take her on. Or Paige, a gifted, talented wrestler. Mm -hmm. AJ Lee <clears throat> is an all right wrestler, too. She, yeah. I mean, there are some gyms surrounded by all of this shit. Yeah. Well, like, again, I think I think just taking the women's title and then changing it to Divas title is, like, just absolutely insulting to women. To say, that, okay, we can't call it a women's title, we have to call it a Divas title. Because yeah. all women are Divas, is almost what they're saying. If you're going to be a wrestler, you have to have this stupid title of Diva. Which doesn't... But when you have people like Paige, who's on Total Divas for some reason, I, I feel like she's sold out. I lost she's a lot of respect. causing mayhem on there. Okay, that's good. And then AJ Lee, when they carried around the Divas title, it looked mm. really stupid on them. Because that wasn't their character. No. Their character was very anti... There for a while, it looked like they were going to do an angle where they were going to divide the women's locker rooms to, like, the Total Divas cast versus everyone else. Kind of yeah. versus the wrestlers. Mm -hmm. um, and I thought that would have been cool. But then, of course, I think they thought, oh, crap, we can't do an angle with Divas. That would take... That had, we'd have to give them, like, ten whole minutes of, like, airtime. <laughs> so, um, uh, we, we can't do that. So, yeah, somehow we've extended Raw in the last year or two by three hours, but that didn't give the women any more time on Raw at all. It just gave Triple H and Stephanie McMahon, like, 30 more minutes oh, to talk at the beginning and end. Mm -hmm. um, God. Yeah, it's it's rough. Um, don't get back into wrestling. <laughs> we, li we lied to you. Don't do it. Don't. We'll when we, when, you, when we tell you it's yeah, safe, yeah, send me sting highlights. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll invite <clears> you over me. whenever we know sting's gonna happen. Um, it's for me. So uh, at Royal Rumble, DDP happened. You missed DDP. Oh, See, man. He, he was I, when you talked about him earlier, I did not know that DDP came back. Well, he, he's he only like semi back. Okay. Like he he just came back for a Royal Rumble appearance. Okay. And well, he that's still. Did put a diamond cutter on like three different people, and we cheered, and we loved it. It was, it was glorious. He still has it. I I ordered DDP yoga the next day. <laughs> like that's not, that's actually a true fact. statement. Like, like this, that's fact. The second oh plug God. we've done for DDP. Yoga. <laughs> We're just trying to get that sponsorship so bad. Come on, DDP. Um, please, please. Uh, and uh, but oh, so uh, w women's wrestling. I know that you've you you've been kind of all about they should have tag belts. And I agree. There should be a tag division. It's just that, you know, if it's not about the Divas belt, it's then it's some feud that's either tied into the male wrestlers or it's just... Or the Bella Twins doing something, something stupid. And they're yeah. awful. And I'm sorry, the Bella Twins are awful. They, I think, they are. They're awful in the ring. I think that the tag titles for women would be good because there are so many of them right now. And you, there's easy pair-ups already. And that... If they're not fighting for the single title, they could be going for yeah. the tag title. And that's just another real reason to have them on there other than, oh, well, you call me this and you call me that. I'm it would give Divas. them more to do. Right. And yeah. so I just think that would be interesting to see. No, I, I think I think that the Divas division should be... Because when you watch NXT and you watch that, it just reminds you of how cool it used to be. Because, I, mean, the, the, I mean, Attitude Era, it... it, it it got a lot right. It also got a lot wrong, as much as we love to say it was the best time ever. It, it, they did a lot of stupid stuff. Mm -hmm. And and there for a while, the, their women's division started out super strong, and I think it ended strong in the Attitude Era. But, of course, in the middle there, there was things like lingerie matches and things like that, which were, were just the lowest common denominator of, like... <laughs> But then you had people like Lita and Trish Stratus. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It ended strong. But I think and Trish, it began strong. Trish Stratus might have been the doom of the Divas division. Yeah. Because although she was a great wrestler and all, she was kind of the total package she, of what they she wanted. she was like the model. Yeah. And She's they were the like, well, we'll just get a bunch of models and we'll turn them into wrestlers. Yeah. Which doesn't work at Because ton. Trish was a once in a while kind of talent. I mean, that's what the Nitro Girls were. Yeah. Yeah. Essentially. And that's what we have essentially the Divas. It's like the Nitro Girls. Mm -hmm. But they're trying to wrestle, and I mean they're they're. But again, you watch NXT and you watch those matches, and those those are girls that can friggin' wrestle and like tell a story in a ring and make a belt look super important. And again, right now, I in, think 
I think maybe the thing that could help if they're, if they're really, if Triple H ever grabs a hold of it from Vince McMahon, would be to get Ronda Rousey to come in and just lay waste to all the divas mm-hmm. and set the yeah. tone that, okay, now you have to wrestle. It's not about who's pretty or who's on Total Divas. I think it would be interesting to do an invasion angle, like NWO style or NXT, like the, the, yeah. the that when there was a stable style, with the NXT women. Yeah. If they actually came in and said this is bull crap, and they and that's that's a great way to start rebuilding an actual women's division. Mm-hmm. I think that they should trash the divas belt. They should bring back a Ronda Rousey belt. could come in as a UFC holy crap villain that'd be great and trash the title and be like this is stupid. I'm making my own title. I think it'd be cool. Again, I think that like women's wrestling can be super good. It can be super awesome, and it would give little girls that watch wrestling something to actually look up to rather than. These airheaded the girls run around. Yeah, like the Bella Twins. Or Eva Marie. Eva, yeah, Eva Marie. She was, she was a horrible wrestler. She like was in NXT development for like two weeks. Vicky Guerrero was a better model for the girls to look up to than... It's, yeah, kind of. You know. No, there is no kind of. She was. <laughs> like, so, um, and, 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 and just, just to wrap it up, I would like to acknowledge that Dean Ambrose <laughs> is still... The only one in this entire company, besi- like in the main roster, trying to make a belt look important. It's true. You have the Divas division. Mm-hmm. The Divas title will be on the line at Fastlane. Just um, because. But the angle's about a spray tan. Yeah. That's it. The, the angle's about tanning, right. not about that belt. Nope. John Cena has not said the word U.S. title once. He just says, I'm going to beat up Rusev. Yes. And this would be... It's such a perfect moment for John Cena to put legitimacy back in that belt because that's a belt that made John Cena. John Cena got over winning the U.S. belt. And the fact that we have this, you know, communist dog wearing it. Yeah, the the, the U.S. belt, like the last few years, communist just, hero. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, you, the U.S. belt is nothing but a prop to put on international. Like Sheamus was it, and then they put it on. Uh, does Cesaro have it? No, I don't know if he's had it yet. No, but or yeah. and then you know Seamus had it, and they put on Rusev, and then Al, I don't even know if Alberto Del Rio had it. But it seems like no like white guy outside of Dean Ambrose, like American guy, has had it. It's just a way to get heel heat yeah. on like your your bad guy foreign villains. They still do the xenophobia thing where they're like, we're gonna give this Bulgarian the U.S. title. Of course, they never mention the U.S. title. He just ra- like wears it around. Lana, this Lana is, wears it more than he does. Yeah. This, this is where Iron Sheik steps in. And, that would, uh, that'd be great. But it is. It's. I. I. I hate that. The, the. The U.S. title is in like it is in such a place where John Cena can build it back up to be something worth it. Because I know he's. He's. And that was probably one of my favorite parts of Raw. It's like they've actually kind of doing an angle where they're calling John Cena old, and that could be a new angle for him. If we're not going to do a heel angle, let's so. do a. You're getting past your prime angle. Whatever gets him out of there fast. Yeah. What, what, whatever happens, just as long as it's not you just overcoming all the odds. Um, even if we have to slow burn you overcoming the odds as an old guy, right. I'd be more into yeah, it than... Slow burning to get that 16th title. I think they need yeah. to make him like go through hell. Like two years. Really, yeah, and, and then retire it. and get that 16th yeah. and just tie it. Retire at the age of 40. Yeah. Um, they just need to job out Cena for Is two he really years. really not even 40 yet? He's 38. Yeah, he's 38. Oh, God. He's going to be I mean, he's, 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 he's going to have like 23 championships. But I like that angle that they're calling him old and he's saying old dog, you know, and stuff like that. They're, just, they're, they're starting to mention at least <coughs> Cena, you're an old guy. And he's in a mid card feud right now. That's cool. We like it. He went in WrestleMania last year, mid card feud with Bray Wyatt. Hope, we we're hoping to elevate Bray Wyatt. That didn't happen. Um, we're really hoping to elevate Rusev, but it's really scary. Um, it's You rarely get elevated by John Cena um, in a good way. Because um, usually, if you get elevated, John Cena gets it right back yeah. in a week. Mm-hmm. Um, Pulls a Hulk Hogan. Yeah, he's, he's like, okay, I gave you a win. I got to get like four now. Um, just, I can't just, look weak to the kids. You no. buy my t-shirts. Um, but yeah, again, has not mentioned the U.S. title once, despite that this is now a U.S. title match. Um, it, not even Rusev is like saying, "Hey, I have the." It's it's not about the belt. It's about I don't even know John Cena being old now, um, and then the World Heavyweight Belt. Not actually mentioned that much. Nope. It's more about who main events WrestleMania. Yeah. They made that the prize rather mm. than there is a world heavyweight belt. Well, it's because Brock Lesnar has it. Barack! Yeah. Hostage situation. <laughs> Lesnar! 
<laughs> Brock Lesnar just shows up with it sometimes. Um, he's been around a lot, and he, sh- and he showed up on a, just a random segment of Raw. It was there was no real good use yeah, for him. Yeah, just Paul Heyman just saying, "Hey, these guys are we're stupid. awesome." Yeah, um, I, love, I love Paul Heyman, so I don't hate it. But yeah, more Paul Heyman is always good. So. It's, a, it's a great thing. Good for the soul. But again, it's it's again like we talked about titles last week, and mm-hmm. that's how we ended. And that's how we're ending this week. But just saying, like, I'm still pro Dean Ambrose. He's still trying to make a title look totally desirable, yeah. mm-hmm. and that's all he wants. He doesn't care about Wade Barrett. He doesn't care about Curtis Axel. He's just, I want that belt. Yeah, I want to be an intercontinental champion. So I love it, and I think that's how it should go, because that's how NXT goes. They're old school wrestling. There's belts. People want them, <laughs> and, and, and I love it. But this isn't wrestling. This is sports entertainment. Boring. Stone Cold and I still call it wrestling. <laughs> <laughs> um, we are a Stone Cold friendly pod- podcast, so we still call it wrestling. Um, he can also support us if he wants and sponsor us. DDP Yoga <laughs> and the Stone Cold Podcast. We we were sponsored by another podcast, uh, <laughs> Stone Cold. Um, talk to Jericho, Colt Cabana. These these podcasts yes. sponsor us, despite that they're Please. free, and we're not even really sure how they make money I don't outside know. of their sponsorships. We're sponsored vicariously through their podcasts. Um, and uh, but and just the lastly, we're gonna plug that there is an NXT. Um, special this week, yep. and that it'll probably be better than probably. everything Most going likely. on in the main roster. <laughs> um, so uh, looking forward to that. So, Ali, <laughs> how, how do you feel about wrestling now <clears throat> that you sat in like an hour long podcast just hearing about it? So excited. She said that like just you just see her, if you see her face, she's never going to watch it's wrestling in her eyes. again. No. I mean, I I used to watch wrestling, like I said, when I was younger, and then I got back into it when I was, like, 13, and I went to, like, a match and all that stuff, like, with Raw. It was really Me fun. and Nate just recently went to Raw. Yeah, I oh, went to it. And was, <laughs> oh, man! Uh, you I went shut to up. match, too! Sting was there. It was Sting awesome. Sting was not there for mine. Yeah, Hulk Hogan sucks. was there also. Yeah, yeah. You guys and watch. HBK. And, and, and Ric Flair. And Scott Rick Hall. Was there I was so excited. I was going to see Scott Hall. I'm such a Scott Hall well, mark. Undertaker and Kane were a tag team. When I saw them, so mm, I had Kane and Big Show. I, 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 <laughs> Kane. Big Show is big. Like he's yeah, a big he's, he's a large dude. <laughs> yeah, but he's boring as all get out. And while we're on it, him and Kane should retire and stop being a part of all the storylines. Yeah, I didn't even know they were still around. To be they there. are, yeah, and they're ruining a lot. They're, a lot. They're, they're just mm-hmm. ruining they ruin everything. The Rumble single handedly. Um, That's unfortunate. Whenever you get so big and so old that your finisher is just punching someone in the face, like it's time to, to retire. That's it. That's, That's Big Show. Big Show's finisher. He punches you in the face. Really? Yep. I, I want to see Big Show moon salt Kane, and they both die in the ring. That. That, that's like K-fade, K-Fade die, right? Yeah, they K-Fade okay. die. Yeah. <clears throat> Often okay. doesn't say. So, lastly, I'm going to ask Allie, is it unattractive to females to be grown men in their 20s that love and watch wrestling so much that they record themselves talking about it? I don't think so. Okay. No. You're good. good. Just, no worries. We're just dispelling just myths checking. at the yes. end. We're myth-busting right now. You're so, good. Okay. Myth-busting. Awesome. Allie's not a real girl, though. So. I'm not. This I'm not half that's, that's, that's not even... <laughs> so, it doesn't not the right work. person to ask. <laughs> she smells like a man. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. All right, so... What, are we, have we done a sign-out yet? Are we tapping out? Yeah, we're tapping out. That's right. We are, we are, <laughs> oh, we are oh tapping out. God. It's the podcast of you, a thousand and four oh, holes. You never tap. <laughs> we, have to, we have to do 1,004 episodes for this to ever end, by the way. It's true. Oh, so, geez, oh. the streak begins. We're on three. <laughs> <laughs> so, Only one thousand and one more to go. Oh, dude, I'm glad you said something. You know what I found out today? What's that? Goldberg is from Oklahoma. Yes, we can yeah. claim Goldberg. How have I not known this? Do, I, I don't know. And Jack Swagger. May Young is also the greatest female wrestler ever. Is from Oklahoma. We now have Brad Pitt, Chuck Norris, Garth Brooks, and, and Goldberg. Goldberg. Sorry. Like, that's like the California super teams. is better. California has jack nothing. You don't even have Sting anymore. Half the people build from California are not actually from there. True. Ray Mysterio. Is he, he's he's, he's probably Diego, Mexico. He? he probably came over from Yeah, Mexico. he's like, he lives in San Diego. I, that's okay, racist. I'm sorry, but San Diego, like, Southern California is basically Mexico. Like, not yeah. racism, it's a, so, no, uh, it's a fact. So, um, armbar? No. Uh, no, hold on, hold on. No, Nick, don't kill this. I'm, I'm, I'm really I want to prove Ali wrong on. I, well, I'm pretty sure he's on tape. So, Tommy, uh, tell me about what you're looking forward to in wrestling world. I Ball. just want to see the big guy hit the other guy. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, so you want to see Ryback hit who? Yeah, I want to see Ryback like who's the other guy. <laughs> 
Ah, uh, he was born in San Diego. I should I should have so, let you tap uh, out. I should <laughs> I'm wrong. On edit this part out. Yeah, what me. was that? Corey? He was born in San Diego. Um, uh, so uh, so, uh, so armbar. So, yeah, armbar. All right. All right.